guys, Sean Phelps, Pacific Northwest here, and uh, that's actually the second time I'm going to shoot this video. Um, I shot this a while ago uh, for the ECS system from Primal Outdoors, and uh, I didn't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I just I couldn't do the video. So I wanted to do it again real quick, like, uh, there's several other out there. Bull Collins, uh, Collins has um, did a review, Justin Wolf, uh, Chris Winham, um, a lot of guys out there, I think of Woodcraft. A lot of guys out there have done a review on this system, including uh, Jason from Prime Outdoors. So go ahead and give those, a, you know, um, a check out to see their loadouts of what they got going in their in their own personal system. So I'm just gonna go through what I have in my front vest and what I have in my, you know, real quick loadout of what I have in my backpack, just so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So super easy, and I'm not currently actually using this configuration, but just to show you guys what you can do with it, I have it on. So. Have the Mora Bushcraft flag right here. Hang on the Kydex sheath. Completely locked into place. Works really well with this Molly system. This pocket right here, on average, what I have in here is GPS. Plastic bag for tinder. And then UG ferrocium rod, magnesium rod combo. And that's always right here in this pocket. This pocket. Personal first aid kit, just blisters, lacerations. This is something you know, just you know, you create comfort when you're feeling a little you know, boo booed. You know, will be it. Fork, lighter. That's it. Sometimes I carry an extra handkerchief in there. As you see, there's a quick release strap here and a quick release strap here. And what that does is that releases the backpack portion from your vest portion. Now before I take off the vest portion or the backpack portion, back here you see possibly here let me step up here. There is a place to hold your water bottle. And this makes it really easy for you to go to pull your water bottle. And this is a 32 ounce here. Take a drink. Get in. This is not the easiest part, but it's not too bad to put back in when you're headed on the way. Slide back in, pull your drawstring. Pretty easy. Out of all the packs I've had, it wasn't that easy. So real quick, yet again, quick release straps here and here, here and here. So what you can do as well, if you don't want to take the entire system off, take that clip off, that clip off. Now you can get to your backpack portion. Right here, I have a hammock chair. There's all this stuff here and there, here and there. And your weapon right there. In this small pocket, I have headlamp and a compass. Hang a paracord, about 25, 20, 25 feet. I got a hoodie right here, but you, it's big enough that you can easily strap, you know, a, um, either a, a sleeping bag, wool blanket, sleeping pad, tent, you do all that, no problem. So I'm going to get into here real quick. Double zippers, your YKKs, always mess that one up. Up here, you have a slot where you can hold keys, wallet, you know, little minor stuff, no big deal. So. Leather gloves. Emergency blanket tarp. Baco La Blender saw. ECS kits I carry every day anywhere I go, whatever backpack I'm using, I can just slide it in and out. This has like knife sharpeners, pens, um, sanitizers, um, medications if you need them. Uh, just simple stuff like that. Just, just to make your life a little bit easier. Emergency blanket hand warmers, blah, blah, blah. Stocking cap, the trail mix, and that's it. Like I said, water bottle in there. I believe you can hold only to 64 ounces. I have 32, 32 ounces in there right now, and it's perfect, no problem. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, like I said, Jason from Pine Outdoors makes this. It's a great system. Um, I had the second gen, this is the third gen, and uh, it did just keep getting better and better. If he makes a fourth gen, I'll most likely jump on that one too. I've uh, scrambled up waterfalls, 
uh, small cliff faces, uh, scree embankments, trails, you name it, I've gone up it. Uh, you can also turn this into a small backpack if you want um, by just strapping those together. So that's pretty neat. Um, also, if you want, uh, I came into this camp today. I have a 35 pound pack that's at our camp. You can connect it to here and then strap this back to your chest while you have a bigger backpack on your back. So you get that versatility there as well, where you didn't have that in the second gen. And I think that's one of the reasons why Jason made this, is when he's out, uh, he usually carries a really, really big pack when he's like hunting and stuff like that. And, and that way he can carry both at the same time and use this for a scout pack. So anyways, guys, John Squatch again. I uh, just want to do a really, really quick review. And um, I'll get to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.